How's it going guys? In this video we're going to get the MP10E all soldered up and ready to hit the track and we're going to use this Weller soldering iron. Let's see how good this thing is. Alright guys, I misplaced my old soldering iron. I can't even remember what brand it was, but yeah, I lost that thing, so I ran to Home Depot and picked this guy up. Um, pretty much like the nicest one that I saw they had in stock, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to unbox this thing and give it a shot and see if it's actually, if we'll get the job done or not. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, we got everything out of the box. This is what is in the box when you, when I opened it and i picked up this kit and another thing of solder i paid 18 bucks for the solder 25 bucks for the for the kit with the flux and the cleaner and the soldering iron itself was 42 dollars yeah uh i don't think that's a too bad of a price point um like i said i just needed something today there was no waiting i had to get something today so i could get this all knocked out and get these things on the track so I'll get this all put together. We'll cut the uh, cut the gun on and actually see how long it takes to get hot. And we'll start soldering and see if this thing is actually I means forty bucks. So it's got to be worth forty bucks, right? <laughs> but all right, let me get this thing together real quick. All right, guys. Well, this is it all together. It's not really hard. You don't even need any tools. It just all snaps together. Um, really, kind of wish we'd have got more of a tip selection. I mean, that's the only tip. If I camera focus on it. That's the only tip you get, just like a flathead tip. Uh, so, that's kind of a bummer. But I have my temp gun right here. And right now it's 64 degrees. But we'll go ahead and cut this guy on. It's a good sign. Go ahead and turn it to the max. Move down here to the tip. And we're already at 66. So... Seems to be getting hot kind of quick. Sixty nine. Seventy six. So, yeah, it's heating up pretty steady, so that's good. We're at five hundred and fourteen degrees right now. That's at the tip right there. It took it roughly, we'll say about six minutes to get that hot. So maybe that's not too bad. I don't know, but it doesn't seem too bad. Not a very long time to wait, but we'll go ahead and jump into it. We got to solder the motor connection back on for the MP10 that we did the electrical version on. And then we'll pull the MP10E down and get everything soldered up. All right, guys, we're going to do just like a little bitty test, like right here. Um, I'm not going to be the solder and hold this, so... I'll have to forgive me. I'm just going to show y'all real quick. Trying to see how long it takes to actually heat up and melt the solder on these connections. So that's not too bad. That's almost instantly, so. But yeah, my temp gun's probably not the most accurate. That's for measuring, you know, RC engine temperature so but it seems to be staying around like 500 ish at the tip so it's not too it might be a little hotter than that so on the yeah so i mean that's that's all i'm getting is, you know 500 600 i think it says it goes up to like 800 degrees i don't know why you would need to get that hot really because solder melts pretty like half that i think but anyway um i want to get these these motor wires knocked out real quick and let you guys see don't judge me too harshly on my soldering but to let you guys see the the finished result of the gun so give me one minute but there you guys go um it's not too bad you know I've, I've definitely done worse trust me you can look up here this is what i did with my old soldering iron and they're not that good you can kind of see it doesn't seem like it's really melted they're just kind of like kind of blobbed up on there so you can kind of see these are a little bit more fully melted and just looks a little better. But yeah, guys, uh, 
I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, guys. It's a soldering iron. It seems to work extremely well. Um, I kind of got it like, you know, three or two notches from all the way to the max. So, I mean, it's doing pretty good. It's like, as soon as you touch it, it melts the solder with no issue. And we're talking like, this is like, if you're doing something delicate, you're probably not going to have any trouble. You're talking like, this is a an eraser size glob of solder. So, I think it's pretty good. If you buy the little kit with the cleaner, um, don't do like I did and not take it out of the little plastic bag. I didn't see the bag and I just stuck my soldering iron in there and I just saw plastic. So yeah, that's actually in like a little protective bag. So you gotta take that out. But other than that guys, um, I would say it's definitely worth the 40 something bucks, 45 bucks I think is what I said. Um, the other soldering iron that I used, uh, it's a solid ones that are on the ESC, where it was for like, oh, from, I can't remember the name of it, but it was from like O'Reilly's, it was like the soldering gun, the big guy, you know, and I can already tell you that right there is way better. Like I said, the big gun, like I said, it didn't want to get hot, and the tips were like the wire tips, so it's almost like it would corrode and eat the tip away, and then you had to get on the tip, and it was just, so it was kind of a nightmare. Yeah, I'm actually glad I lost that thing. <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it um appreciate you guys for watching sticking around sharing subscribing and all that good stuff and if you're here for the rc action stick around because we're gonna get these two cars on the track in the next couple of videos mm -hmm.